Welcome to this tutorial on uh, how to speed up your computer by deleting temp files, temporary internet files, and content IE files. Uh, there is programs like CCleaner that does this automatically, but I'm going to show you the manual way how to do it, so just to make sure you get everything uh, out of there that you're supposed to. Also, I'm going to show you um, how to clean out your start startup programs to help your computer boot up a little faster. So let's get started. First thing, uh, come down to the start menu and this is Windows 7. We're going to come here, we're going to type inet cpl.cpl. What this basically is a shortcut to bring up internet properties. From here you go to uh, browsing history. I always change this to about 50. You don't need, you don't need it any bigger than 50. Um, and then here bring up temporary internet files first thing you have to do which is different from XP is there's usually a bar up here with your um, tools and uh, view and different options file uh, to get to that on Windows Vista and 7 you have to press the alt key and then you get this uh, drop down menu with file edit view tools and help uh, from here you want to hit tools go to folder options um, hit the view tab Come down here, make sure you show hidden files and folders, and uncheck the high protected operating system files. It's going to bring up a, a warning um, uh, message. Just click yes, uh, click apply, and then click OK. Um, and right here, we're in temporary internet files. Uh, easy way I like to do this uh, click on one, I press Control A, it highlights everything, and then a Shift Delete. Um, it's a shortcut to delete everything. I always delete my cookies. You don't have to if you don't want to. Click yes. Um, give it a second. It will remove everything. From here, we're going to click up here. We're going to type in backslash content.ie5. Hit enter. This is going to bring up uh, internet files. Shift. Click it, shift, shift, delete to delete them. Are you sure? You're gonna click yes. Do this for current items. Click yes. Finished. All right, and from here we're gonna backspace all the way to local, and then we're gonna type in temp. Hit enter. This is also you can delete all these files. The only file I wouldn't delete is VBE. You could probably get away with deleting it. I've had issues with deleting it before on clients' computers, so I will not delete that file. Um, shift delete, put all this in the recycle bin. So I'm freeing up uh, 1,370 items, which I didn't have a whole lot on here, but if you've never done this on your computer, it can really. Um, do some damage as far as slowing it down. And all right, I wouldn't delete this one. Um, just skip it. Then we're gonna go down here to OK. Click OK. Uh, recycle bin. Always empty it. Yes. Okay, so that's it. Um, that should help speed up your system. If you're running real sluggish, so I would go through those steps and uh, see if it cleans it up and speeds it up a little bit. Also, um, just if you want to configure what programs start up when your computer starts up, you come down here, MS config, enter. It's going to bring up system configuration. Here's a startup tab. Um, the only thing I would leave running is stuff that you use all the time, which is an antivirus. Uh, you always want to keep that running. Um, if you have any kind of like uh, Creative technology is what I use for my audio. I let that run. You just log me in. The rest of this stuff I wouldn't use for startup. Um, you can have it in there, it still works. I just don't like it starting up just to help my computer boot up a little faster. You can also click on services tab, uh, hide all Microsoft services, and you can go through and remove what services you want running. This will also help speed up your system. Um, again, you have the option of um, unchecking whatever you want to. Um, what I would keep checked is definitely your antiviruses is probably what you want to leave checked for sure. 
and um, if you use like a log me in service where you're going to be leaving the system on and you want to log in from another system or over the internet uh, leave that running also okay that will do it for this tutorial